got 10 of my jokes on Mock the Week this week. Ooh. Not that you can ever tell anyone that, or you're, uh, you'll be disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course those comedians come up with all their own jokes. Yeah, as if anyone could come up with, what's with Boris's hair? As if anyone could come up with that. Hey, hey oh. sorry I'm late. So, sorry, Mr. Herring, sir. Um, oh, that prick's not even here yet. No, he's, he's not coming this week. What do you mean? He says he's too busy and we should, uh, we should get on with it ourselves. Yeah, what else do you think he's doing that is so important? Oh, clearing stones off a field, I don't know. Dicking around on Twitter, letting everyone know it's Alfred Nobel Day in Sweden. Oh, when will it be Ross Nobel Day? <laughs> Maybe he's just like, lying in a dark room, considering all the bad decisions he's made that have led him to this point. He's touching himself with the hand of a ventriloquist dummy. Oh, Stu, why did you leave me, Stu? No, 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 no. No, no, we're not. We're not being fair. Come on, he he has done quite a bit of telly recently. Yeah, but yeah. doesn't he just let us know about it? Is he ever going to shut up about how clean Ben Shepherd smells? <laughs> to be fair to him, I would quite like to smell Ben Shepherd. Yeah, me too. He's changed though, Richard. Not Ben Shepherd. He he thinks he's this big star again. Again. When was it last time? He's always thought that. Look, that's why he hasn't been on TV for 20 years. Reputation as an A-grade arsehole. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's acting like he's Jimmy Carr because he managed to wangle his way onto Taskmaster. Like, that means he's too busy to do any work on his own show now. Avalon. Mm. They finished filming that in July. I don't, I don't mind writing other people's jokes. You know, when it's like one of the big names. They're on TV all the time. They don't have time to write their own stuff. I get that. But the thing is, we know he's just sitting in the bath playing Yahtzee on his iPhone. I wouldn't mind all this if he just delivered the jokes that we'd written properly. Have you seen the show? No, no, no I haven't seen it. No. Not yet. it I, is, will. I will, I will. I honestly don't think he's even read the script through once. He, he, he genuinely delivers it like a five-year-old learning to read and speak. It sounds like he's just making it up. Yeah, we, he's definitely got above himself. I mean, we should teach him a lesson. We should fuck him up. L listen, we can get him cancelled so he never works again. Are you sure that's fair? Also, like, I would need the 50 quid a week that he gives us. It's f funny, Major, I, I can't bring myself to use it. Like, every time I go to buy something, I think, how do I earn this money again? And then it, f it just feels like, like blood money. Mm. Like, I just can't, can't go through with it. No way. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. My kids are fat enough, they can go without breakfast. Mm. Right, listen, how about this? You know that really stupid moustache he's got now, right? Why don't we tell him to shave it back down to just like when he had a Hitler moustache? In 2020? He barely got yeah. away with it 10 years ago. Yeah, he'll have it for the whole show as well. So someone's bound to take a clip of it and put it out of context on Twitter. Exactly. He'll definitely be cancelled. He'll be killed. He can spout all that bullshit about reclaiming it for Charlie Chaplin again. You could make him do that white power okay hand sign. Yeah, and have, it, and have him say he's reclaiming the swastika because it's, like, yeah, <laughs> it's like a Buddhist symbol of peace. Or something. I mean, it is. But... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah but, but then make him say he's like reclaiming the goose step because Basil thought he did it first. You know, have that, have that kind of stuff. Yeah, mm. um, or that, you know, Heil Hitler was originally a greeting of love used by Jesus. Yeah, yeah and, and right there he should cut off one of his testicles and put it in the Albert Hall. <laughs> I feel that that is too far, though. Yeah, um... Well, why don't we put it in and just see yeah. what happens? Yeah, let's pop yeah? it in. Yeah. Um, it's going to get away, isn't it? Well, maybe, but what if, it, what if it makes him more popular? I mean, it worked for Hitler. And for Katie Hopkins. Oh, come on. Earrings are not as bad as her. What if, what if he questions us on this? What do we do then? Just tell him it's going to make him really famous. It won't even be a lie. Right, okay. Right. Well, that's sorted then. Okay. Uh, we do still have to write uh, the main rest of the show. Um, yeah, but at least it's going to be the last one. Well, yeah, it's the last one. In a strange mm. way, I do feel like I'm going to miss it. Mm. So who's got something for the Marmite lid? You know, I'm not, I'm not going to miss it. Yeah. It's, I, I don't have anything for the Marmite lid apart from Marmite, the Marmite some, on it. Some people don't like Marmite. Oh, that's quite good. You love it or you don't love it. You love you, it. Like Richard Herring, you don't, you don't love you either, it. You either lick it or you... So what are we going with? Hit, lick it or you love it or you might not like it. Yeah, lick it or love yeah. it. Sure. Just put that in. Okay. So it doesn't really that anyway, Mock the Week. I think Hugh could say yeah. that. I, oh, uh, yeah, I, I did put that in Mock the Week, actually. That's yeah. been on TV this week already. Yeah, it has, yeah. yeah. Lick it or love it. 
Make it all of it or put it on your toast. On on the on bread. 